Hey, this is Pastor Becky. Do you know healing belongs to you? It's actually, it's yours. And the Bible says in Exodus 15, 26, and the last part says, For I am the Lord who heals you. God is the God who heals you. He's not the God who makes you sick. If you need a healing touch in your body, it belongs to you. Healing is yours. He is the God who heals you. So if he's the God who heal, heals you, that's an Old Testament scripture. We're going to go to, I mean, the New Testament scripture I stand on all the time is 1 Peter 2, 24. By Jesus Christ stripes, I was healed. That means I am healed. But the one I want to focus in on today is Psalms 103, 1 through 5. And it says, bless, affectionately, gratefully, praise the Lord, O my soul. You know what your soul is? You're a three-part being. You are spirit, soul, and body. Your soul is your thinker, feeler, doer. Bless, affectionately, pray, gratefully, praise the Lord, O my soul, and all that is deepest within me, bless his holy name. So we just bless you, Lord. We praise you. We, we worship your holy name. You're worthy, and you're worthy to be praised. We thank you, Jesus, for going to the cross on our behalf, that by your stripes we were healed. That means we are healed. In fact, I'm hearing the Holy Spirit say, someone, um, someone right now, you're having pain right on your wrist, and it's being healed right now in Jesus' name. Okay. And then it says, bless, affectionately, gratefully, praise the Lord, O oh my soul, and and again, spirit, soul, and body, so your spirit, and then your soul is your thinker, feeler, doer, so your thinker, feeler, doer, O oh my soul, and forget not one of all his benefits. God's got a great benefit package, by the way. What is his benefit package? Verse 3 of, of Psalms 103. Who forgives each and every one of all your iniquities. He forgives all your sins, each and every one. Who heals each one of your diseases. It doesn't matter what name they give to it. He heals each one of them. It doesn't matter if you have a list of 100 problems that you're physically dealing with. He heals each one of them. Not just one. He's, he's the God of more than enough. Of abundance of, that lavishes on us. And verse 4 says, Psalms 103, verse 4, Who redeems your life from the pit and this corruption. Some of you feel like you are in the pit right now. If one more thing goes wrong, you're like, I don't know if I can handle it. I was just talking to someone today who, who put a contract down on a house that was supposed to start being built 40 day, 45 days ago, and they just got notice today that something with the permit, and they haven't even started, and they're trying to get moved before their children are going, you know, before school starts in the summer in August, I think August 9th or 10th here. You know, and that's just one one more thing of what this person had been going through. So sometimes you feel like you're in the pit and corruption, but he 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 redeems us from that. He he'll lift you out of that pit that you're in. He'll set your feet on solid ground when you feel like you're walking on, you know, unsure footing. He'll make your footing sure. Who beautifies, ladies, listen to that. Who beautifies, dignifies, and crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercy. He beautifies you. You know, you don't. I know as a teenager, it's really hard. Not so far. I'm not p picking on the teenagers here, but I remember just if you had one, what we called a zit. I don't know what you call them now, pimple. My whole day is ruined, and everybody's looking at that one pimple. Well, of course, you get older and you realize nobody looked, nobody cared, and and it was silly. And you especially have that beauty of the glow of youth. Even you know, as you get older, quick, don't complain about wrinkles and stuff. Our pastor's wife, when I was a teenager, she was beautiful. She looked like Julie Andrews. It was Pauline Harthorn, and she did, and she had a beautiful voice and just a lovely lady. Always, even when she, in her latter days, she had gotten Alzheimer's. But she, she, her, her the, who she really is was still there, and she was like, oh, you look so pretty today. She was just one of those encouraging, she's in heaven now, rejoicing, healed and whole. But she just... I forgot she called them um, smile lines, but, you know, when she was like 40 and she, and she was beautiful. So it just depends on how you look at it, okay? No pun intended, but anyway. So who beautifies, dignifies, and crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies. Verse 5, who satisfies your mouth, your necessity, and desire at your personal age and situation. We need different nu nutrients as we go, you know, whether we're younger or older or there's different things that your body needs. And he said he's going to satisfy your mouth based on your personal age and situation with good so that your youth renewed is like the eagles, strong, overcoming, soaring. So God wants you healed. If you can't, you know, shout and jump. Woohoo! <laughs> if you had nothing to read, Psalms 103, 1 through 5. We already said in the Exodus, it said, I am the God who heals you. 
We need to bless, affectionately praise Him. Tell, oh, my soul, don't look at the negative. Focus on who God says He is. No, don't focus on what you can do. Focus on what He can do through you. Don't focus on the sickness. Focus on that He said He heals you. He's a God that heals you. Focus on the fact that He said He forgives each and every one of your sins and, and your iniquities. He heals each and every one of your diseases. Every one. He's already healed you. You're already healed. It already belongs to you. By Jesus Christ stripes you were healed. You are healed. Your thinker, feeler, doer. That, those mental anguishes. Those you know. Someone may have broken your heart today or, or recently or whatever. I don't want to sound like it's not important, but the truth is, if they're that horrible, you don't need them and they don't deserve you. God's got something better for you. Just don't, don't let people do that. Your ears are not garbage cans. You need to just let God... You know, if you people are always wanting to dump on you or whatever. I, I wrote an article for Charisma Magazine called Christian Va Vampires. You can look it up. There, you know, in the Christian world, a lot of times we think, well, people aren't going to be like that. Well, yes, people are people. And unless, and we're all works in progress. Bless the Lord, affectionately, gratefully praise the Lord. Oh, my soul and all that is deepest within me. Bless his holy name. Start being thanking him. Thank you, Father God, that I even have breath in my lungs. Thank you, Father God, for this beautiful day. Thank you, Father God. You know, there's always something to thank him for. And a thankful heart draws things to be thankful for. It's like you're a magnet for things to be thankful for. If you've ever paid attention to people, and maybe this is you, and, and you just need to see this, and you're around them, they're always like, Eeyore, you know, oh, bother. Disney character, but anyway, oh, bother. Winnie the Pooh, it was the donkey and you know he oh bother they and they seem to just keep attracting things to be oh bother about I mean it's like oh here we go again and all everything always bad happens to me and shut up <laughs> I'm just gonna be your mom right now and tell you to shut up you are causing more bad things to come to you instead find the good thing in something and say Lord I just thank you this is the day you have made I will rejoice and be glad in it you can be thankful that God's forgiven all your sins and, and nobody in the world ever has to know about them. You can be thankful that Jesus died on the cross, that he, by his stripes, you were healed. That means you are healed, that healing belongs to you. And I'm Pastor Becky, transformationchurch.com.com. Dot dot so it's T-R-A-N-S, the number four, M-A-T-I-O-N, church.com. You can go there and you can contact us there. You can give there. But I'm telling you, have a grateful heart. He can renew. He renews. He doesn't. He can. But he, he will renew your your youth like the eagles. So quit saying, oh, I'm old, blah, blah, blah. No, my youth is renewed like the eagles. I plan to live as long as God intends for me to live in health and wholeness. And in my youth be renewed like the eagle. Run and not be weary. Walk and not faint. In Jesus' name. And so should you. So I think I've given you some encouraging words to chew on. Just go look up Psalms 103, 3 through 5, and it really is great in the Amplified Classic Edition. So you can look it up on your device. Again, I'm Pastor Becky Transformation Church, the dot com, dot com, dot com. The four stands for healing spiritually, physically, mentally, and financially. This is Becky's Blurbs, which God told me to call it Becky's Blurbs and then to try to keep it short. And if you're not 100% sure, if you were to die today, that you'd go to heaven. Because the minute you were born, you're going to die. You know, you know, there's an appointed time to die. So you're, you're either going to heaven or hell. And I know you want to go to heaven. And if no one's ever told you God loves you, and he has a great plan for your life, just like the scripture I was reading, that he, he, has, he forgives every one of your sins. He heals every one of your diseases. He, he renews your youth like the eagle. <laughs> he... He redeems your life from the pit. You feel like you're in the pit? He'll pull you out of the pit. He beautifies you, dignifies you, and crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies. I mean, it just goes on and on. We serve a great, big, wonderful God who loves you. So repeat this prayer after me. If you want to know that when you die, you're going to heaven, just repeat this after me. Say, Heavenly Father, I believe in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I believe Jesus died on the cross for me. They're putting a roof on him. I believe that Jesus was buried, that he rose from the dead on the third day. I ask you to forgive me. I receive your forgiveness. <laughs> Take my life and do something wonderful with it. In Jesus' holy name, amen. Woohoo!
Well, as a minister of the gospel, I can tell you right now, when you die, you are going to heaven. Isn't that strange that they just started to pound on that roof next door right as I'm doing, leading you in a prayer so that you can know. It's a free gift. You've just received the free gift of going to heaven when you die. And there's more. God wants you to have heaven here on earth. Contact me. Contact me on Facebook. You can go to contact us on um, Transformation Church. Just do that. Just contact us. Love you. Bless the Lord. Thank Him. Praise Him. You already are healed. Just stand on the Word of God. And if you have questions about healing, go back and look at some of the healing messages. Jesus is the healer. I'm just a conduit. God loves you. He's healed you. He's delivered you. He's beautified you. He's dignified you. He's pulled you out of the pit. <laughs> He's renewed your youth like the eagle. In Jesus' name, receive everything He's done for you and say thank you. Bye. We love you.